I urge you, brethren, keep an eye of those who cause what? Distensions. If people come to me and gossip, I will tell you what to do. You say, excuse me. If you've got a problem, example lang, si Glenn, okay, example. you got a problem with Pastor Glenn. You know what I will do? Don't tell me. I will fix it up for you. Why don't we have a meeting with Glenn? You understand? Now, as the senior pastor, when you come to me with a problem, it's okay. You know why? Because I can do something about it. But going to a friend, example, somebody telling you about somebody else's problem, what must you do now? You say, excuse me. Don't tell me. What I will do, I will set up a meeting for you to talk to the person. You talk to the person directly. Remember Sam Chan? What shall we say? We don't do that here. From now on, if anybody wants to gossip, what will you say? We don't do that here. This is a family, my friend. Are we a family, yes or no? Now, if you have a family problem, listen to me. You got a family problem, what do you do? Do you broadcast it to the world? Assuming. Obligation family. My problema si Mr. Mrs. Obligation. Madam Obligation. Doctora, do you post it in the Facebook so the whole world will know? Do you do that? No. What do you do? You talk directly. Are we a family, yes or no? Louder. So from now on, the Bible says, you watch out. Keep an eye on those who cause what? Dissensions. You know why? They give occasions for stumbling. People will stumble. The Bible is emphatic. Let me tell you why this is so important. Because according to Jesus, our unity, our love for one another is the best evidence of witnessing. It's the best way to tell others to come to Jesus. By this, all men will know you are my disciples if you have love for one another. So I always ask people, are you doing this out of love or out of anger? My friend, if I love you, I will not slander you. If I love somebody, I will not gossip. 